Welcome to another quick review from Ultimate DIYer. Today we're going to look at the QI2 MagSafe car charger. This is going to be model X27Q. Okay guys, so if you've got an iPhone from 12 all the way up to the new 16, you can use this charger. And what's really cool about this charger is it is the magnetic type of charger and it will work in any car that has air conditioning vents. It'll simply hook into the vent and then it's articulating. You can move it around and get it positioned just the way you want it so it'll actually hold your phone in place and you can view it while you're driving around town. So that's a really cool function. And this uses the type C charger. So it'll plug into this unit and plug into your C type charger in your car. So I have a couple of iPhone setting here and I have a crate that we can use to simulate the use of a car's air conditioner vents. And we're gonna see how this goes together. But before we do that, let's open it up and let's take a look. So you're going to open up the box. It's a very simple little box, nothing much to it. It is going to have a plastic sleeve in it that we're gonna pull out. And that's pretty much everything in the box. On the back of it, I've got my cord right here. And I've already unwrapped this cord so it makes it easy for the demonstration, but it'll come all wrapped up nice and tight for you. We're going to set that aside. And then you've got your manual. Now, just like most of these little manuals that you get, there it's a lot of small print, so you're probably going to have to use cheaters or something to see it unless you've got eagle eyes. So it does have a lot of good instructions in it, and it also has some QR codes that can kind of speed things up for you if you need it. But I believe this is a pretty simple unit. You really don't need a whole lot of instructions, especially after you watch this video. So when you look at it in the plastic sleeve, it looks like one piece. This is actually two. This is going to be your docking station where you're actually going to put your phone so that it can charge. We're going to set that aside for a second. And this is going to be the articulating piece that we are going to hook up. So we're going to set all this out of our way. And let me kind of explain a couple of things on this before we try to hook it up. So your docking station is very simple. It's magnetic. It's going to hold everything in place. It has a little piece here on the back that's going to unscrew when we go to hook it up. And it allows it on an actual ball, this ball here, to articulate. So the only other thing that's real important on here is the charging port. So you're going to have the USB-C charging port, which is going to go here. And there's just a standard USB port here. So you can buy one of the little adapters if you don't already have that in your car. If you have it in your car, you're just going to plug it right in. So it's pretty simple. Now, this is where the heart of the system actually works and functions. You have a piece here, a sleeve, which the sleeve will come off. You're going to hold that sleeve and then you're going to spin this wheel here. And you see this hooked area right here. You are actually going to hold it and turn and you can adjust that hook up or down, depending on the size of vent that you have in your car. That's why I wanted to show you with an actual crate, because if I can make it work on a crate, you can make it work on pretty much any car. So we're going to take one of the bigger squares here, the notch, and we're going to try to line this thing up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of pre-start it. There we go. Just like that. So when you have it hooked in here, you're going to hold this first part. I'm trying to do this without blocking your view, guys. And you're going to spin that. Now, keep in mind, on your grill, it won't have a bend. It should be fairly square, but this is bent because I'm going inside of here. So now I have this thing and it just spins around. So what you're going to do is kind of lock this down to basically where you're going to want it, where the view for you, for you, if you're behind a driver's seat, you can look over and see it. And that's somewhat, you know, in a good spot. Now you can adjust that. You can loosen this back and turn it again. So now we're going to take the docking station and we're going to take this back piece off, put it on first, and we're going to snap this into play just like that. And now, so you can see, I'll turn it. 
we're going to tighten that down, the little nut, and it will clamp it. Uh, so awkward trying to do this in front of the camera so that I don't block your view. So we'll get it started. There we go. And you kind of lock it where you want it. Now this is where the articulating part comes, which I like. You can actually turn this now. I can move it up. I can move it down. I can move it sideways, wherever I need to move it. Now we have a couple of phones here. This is, I believe, a 12, and I think this is an 11. This may not work. We'll try it and see. I tell you, let's take it out of the plastic covering and see if this actually works. Nope, does not work, so that must be an 11. So you have to have a 12 and greater. This one should work, and it works. There it is, and now it sticks. Now, that sticks really good once it gets on there. So you'll feel it as you put it on. It has a certain spot that just really grabs, and there it is right there and it is grabbing. So, works really good with that. Now, I struggled a little with the covers. Let's see how this actually does with this cover. And, yeah, well, it tries to, tries to grab, but does not want to stay. So, I've found that this works better without the plastic heavy covers and it works really well. So let's articulate, works really great. There we go. So there you go, guys. So make sure that your iPhone is a 12 or later and it should work. If as long as it has that charging technology where it grabs a hold of the back, it's gonna work fine. Also keep in mind, if you've got the big heavy covers, it may not hold very well. It might hold a little and may be falling off all the time. These kind of covers work pretty easily, though I can pop it off real fast and still charge my phone in the car. Now, you may want to try with your covers. They may work just fine. This is a very heavy rubber cover, but actually both of these are. And that's probably a big factor. But overall, I think it's a great system. You can hook it up in a matter of seconds, and you can have something that will not only be charging your phone, but will hold your phone so that you can actually read it and see it while you're driving around town. So do yourself a favor, pick yourself up one today. I don't think you'll regret it. We'll see you guys on the next review.